Hi guys, I'm just about to eat lunch. I've had several people say, why don't you ever show your birds anymore? Well, just because when they're out, I'm usually busy because I'm working or whatever. But anyway, so today, I haven't had a call in about five minutes. <laughs> I call that a slowdown. So we've got Phoebe here. And Clinger there, he flew over here and landed on Phoebe's back. Of course, the two of them get along just fine, so it's not a problem. A uh, girlfriend is somewhere. Green cheek con, your girlfriend is, I don't know where she is. Girlfriend? Not sure. She's over there somewhere. <laughs> Phoebe has issues with um, removing feathers at times. And not always, just occasionally. And right now is the occasionally. She is going through a molt, so it's probably making her uncomfortable. And Klinger, he's my old man. I think he's probably, maybe, he's right around 20, pretty sure. Which really isn't that old. One of my other cockatiels, I lived to 28, but anyway. He's still doing fine, aren't you, Klinger? He flies around like a champ, don't you, Klinger? Last night we were whistling duets. He loves whistling duets, don't you, Klinger? He says, I'm going. Klinger came from... Somebody who had three cockatiels, Radar, Klinger, and Trapper, Trapper John. Um, and he had uh, MS. The gentleman had MS. Um, his wife left him when he got sick. But before, these birds were his, they were out all day. They only got went, went in their cages at night. And one day, Radar bit his wife, his ex-wife. So it was February, but... Whatever, she just threw them out the door. They're never to be seen again. Um, so he had Trapper and Klinger yet. And a um, long time ago, maybe 2002, perhaps, he was one of our customers for the bug man that I worked for. And he, we were talking about the birds, and he had to go. He So he knew I had birds and whatever. He had to go in a nursing home at one point, and of course he couldn't take his birds, so he asked if I would take them. He didn't want them to go somewhere where they wouldn't, you know, have lots of freedom and flight and stuff. So I said I would take them because, you know. When I lived in Lansing, I should show you pictures. I lived in a big 11-room arts and crafts bungalow. I loved that house. Loved it. Um, but I had my desk and everything set up in the dining room. So did Pete and so did Casey. That was kind of like our office. And um, I had in that room stuff hanging from the ceiling, stuff on stands. I had so many bird bird activities in that room. The whole room was full of bird activities. So the birds were out there, you know, with me while I was working during the day. I don't really have a space to do that here. But um, anyway, so that's kind of what he wanted for them. So... Uh, I, I took those two, and Trap, uh, let's see, Trapper died. He was a Lutino. He died maybe four or five years ago. Uh, he's been gone a while. But Klinger, and usually, Klinger and Phoebe get along great. These two are good buddies. Um, Klinger and Girlfriend get along great. Girlfriend and Phoebe, not so much, but they just kind of ignore each other or stay away from each other. Right, Phoebe? Oh, oh, my goodness. And Phoebe's the one who makes all the noise when I'm playing my keyboard. <laughs> so anyway, I'm about to have my lunch, um, which is just leftover chicken and some uh, raw cauliflower dipped in ranch. Pete is at the prayer meeting uh, yesterday for dinner. I had made us taco salads, which I showed you, I think. But I had made a lot of the ground meat and onions fried up with all the seasonings, cumin and chili powder, garlic and salt, I think I used. And so I, it was quite well spiced. So um, they have a little potluck after the prayer meetings on Monday. So I send something. There's usually, an, you know, so I usually send enough, just enough for the people there. And um so today I took that leftover meat, which was about three quarters of what I made, and I added um, a can of garlic diced tomatoes, a, a can of crushed tomatoes, um, the rest of the refried beans from yesterday. The refried beans I had heated in the 
drippings from the ground beef and onions so they had all that spice in them and then i had added just a couple tablespoons of heavy cream to make them real smooth but anyway i added that um, which thickened the soup nicely um, and oh, let's see what else did i add half a jar of salsa yeah half a jar of salsa so that made a really really nice thick soup and then um i sent that with some of the mexican shredded Mexican blend cheese that we had on our salads last night for topping, a package of the um, tortilla chips for crush, or the tostada chips or whatever they are, those round ones. They can crunch them up and put them in, in a container of sour cream. So they'll make nice lunches for, you know, and of course other people bring stuff too. So that is that. I actually did all that stuff last night, not today, and so it's been in the fridge, and Pete just took it. For dinner, I don't know what we're having yet, so I'll get something out of the freezer later. Um, That's all that's going on. Right, Phoebe? Right, Phoebe? Ah! Look at her. You wonder why they call her a bronze wing Piona's parrot. Look at that bronze wing right there. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Clinger's back there going with his beak. He knows I'm going to eat. They know the drill. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye. He does that because it's hollow. <laughs> I guess he thinks he can hollow out and make a nest in there or something. He'd probably have plenty of room. <laughs> how beautiful it is out there blue skies fluffy clouds trees are finally the buds are finally starting to open this tree doesn't look that healthy is that right love yeah. is that right that this tree next to the driveway isn't that healthy yeah it's not it's not i don't think so you know woodpecker building its house in it yeah. Oh, look at Chewy. I'm Chewy. trying not to. <laughs> Chewy, what are you doing, Chew? Go tell your mother she wants you. <laughs> Go away, kid. You bother me. <laughs> your mother have any children that lived? Come on. <laughs> Chewy. Chewy. What about me? He says, but you don't let me out. Only Dad does. That's not true. He says, when I get to be obnoxious, Dad puts his computer down and I go out. That's not true at all. I had them out two or three times while you were gone today. Probably three. Only because I wasn't here to pester her. Well, he doesn't come to me to tell me. Go tell Ma you want out. Go tell Ma. Go tell Ma. Quit licking my face. You're going to get me in trouble with your Ma. You're going to get me in trouble. Chewy. Chewy. You want to go outside? Whoa. You want to go outside? Yeah. Okay. Guess I better go, guys. <laughs> Look at the two boys. It's a little after eight, I guess. There's the boys. <laughs> They're so cute. Hi guys, it's a little after eight. Um, nothing going on. We ate dinner. I will probably get to bed early tonight because last night, uh, last time I looked at the clock this morning, it was like 4.18, so I've been kind of tired today. Um, my back is screwed up too, so I will probably just uh, take some pain pills and then when my dinner settles and I get the birds done and stuff. I'll go to bed early. Get a good night's sleep. So, Casey is taking Lyra. She has an appointment with the dermatologist tomorrow down in Ann Arbor. Um, you know, Lyra's got some issues she needs to have checked, although, you know, she obviously needs to be seen. Um,. You know, every so often anyway. I think right now it's twice a year, like every six months. And they do MRIs on her brain and stuff. For those of you who are new, Lyra is my precious grandbaby who has something called 
neurocutaneous melanocytosis. And it's spelled just like it sounds if you're interested in Googling it. But uh, yeah, she was born with it. Neurocutaneous melanocytosis. So tomorrow we'll see what, what's what. And um, I can't go with her this time because obviously I'm working. But Casey usually is very good about keeping me updated about what's going on you know, sending me texts and stuff. So that's it. That's it for my Monday. And uh sun's still in my eyes. <laughs> and um I will see you guys tomorrow. I did watch vlogs today. Enjoyed them. Commented, liked, all the usual. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. So I hope you all have a terrific Tuesday. Take care. God bless and good night.